Hello everyone welcome to Coders Place YouTube channel. Today we will see some important questions and answers of HTML for freshers. So let's get started. 1. What is the difference between classes and ID? ID attribute. The ID attribute is a unique identifier that is used to specify the document. It is used by CSS and JavaScript to perform a certain task for a unique element. In CSS, the ID attribute is written using the hash symbol followed by id. Syntax for id. Class attribute. The class attribute is used to specify one or more class names for an HTML element. The class attribute can be used on any HTML element. The class name can be used by CSS and JavaScript to perform certain tasks for elements with the specified class name. The class name can be represented by using the symbol. Syntax for class attribute. Difference between id and class attribute. The only difference between them is that it is unique on a page and can only apply to at most one element, while the class selector can apply to multiple elements. Question 2. How can we create a nested web page in HTML? When the content of one completely different web page is embedded into another web page, it is called a nested web page. The nested web page can be created using the following two methods. Iframe e tag. The iframe e in HTML stands for inline frame. The iframe e tag defines a rectangular region within the document in which the browser can display a separate document, including scroll bars and borders. Embed tag. The embed tag in HTML is used for embedding external applications which are generally multimedia content like audio or video into an HTML document. Question 3. What are the tags that can be used inside the head tag? The head element is like a container for metadata i.e. data about data and it also lies between the HTML tag on the body tag. Metadata is the data about the HTML document and is not displayed on the web page. It defines the document title, style, script, and other meta information. The HTML head element is a container for the following elements. Title tag. It defines the title of the web page. Link tag. It is most often used to link on external CSS file. Meta tag. It is used to specify the character set, page description, keywords, author of the document, and viewport settings. It will not be displayed but is used by browsers on how to display content or reload pages and by search engines, and other web services. Base tag. It is used to specify the base URL or target for relative URLs. Style tag. It is used to make internal CSS within our HTML web page. Script tag. It is used to define within the HTML web page. Question 4. What are meta tags? How are they important? The metadata means information about data. The meta tag in HTML provides information about HTML document or in simple words, it provides important information about a document. These tags are basically used to add name slash value pairs to describe properties of HTML documents, such as expiry date, author name, list of keywords, document author, etc. This tag is an empty element because it only has an opening tag and no closing tag, but it carries information within its attributes. A web document can include one or more meta tags depending on information, but in general, it doesn't affect the physical appearance of the document. Syntax. Key points. The meta tag contents are not visible on your browser and is added inside the head tag. They are just used to give additional information about the HTML document. The meta tags are added to our HTML document for the purpose of search engine optimization. Question 5. What are HTML entities? HTML provides some method to display reserved characters. Reserved characters are those characters that are either reserved for HTML or those which are not present in the basic keyboard. For example, less than is already reserved in HTML language. Sometimes this character needs to display on the web page which creates ambiguity in the code. Along with these are the characteristics which are normally not present in basic keyboard, pound, yen, euro. Copyright, etc. HTML provides some entity names and entity numbers to use these symbols. Entity number is easy to learn. Question 6. What are semantic elements? Semantic elements have meaningful names which tell about the type of content. For instance header, footer, table, etc. 
HTML5 introduces many semantic elements as mentioned below which make the code easier to write and understand for the developer as well as instruct the browser on how to treat them. Article, it contains independent content which doesn't require any other context. Aside, it is used to place content in a sidebar i.e. aside from the existing content. Details, it defines additional details that the user can hide or view. Figure and fig caption, it is used to add an image to a web page with a small description. Footer, it is located at the bottom of any article or document, they can contain contact details, copyright information, etc. Header, it is used for the header of a section introductory of a page. Main, it defines the main content of the document. Mark, it is used to highlight the text. No, it is used to define a set of navigation links in the form of a navigation bar or no menu. Section, a page can be split into sections like introduction, contact information, details, etc. and each of these sections can be in a different section tag. Question 7. What is the difference between the post method and the get method? The hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, is designed to enable communications between clients and servers. HTTP works as a request response protocol between a client and server. There are two HTTP request methods Z, get and post. Get, it requests data from a specified resource. Post, this method is used to submit data to be processed to a specified resource. Question 8. What is SVG? SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It basically defines vector-based graphics in XML format. SVG graphics do not lose any quality if they are zoomed or resized. Every element and every attribute in SVG files can be animated. Advantages of SVG Advantages of using SVG over other image formats, like JPEG and GIF, are SVG images can be created and edited with any text editor. SVG images can be searched, indexed, scripted, and compressed. SVG images are scalable. SVG images can be printed with high quality at any resolution. Question 9. What are the different multimedia formats supported by HTML? Multimedia files have formats and different extensions like WAV, MP3, MP4, MPG, WMV, and AWI. Question 10. What is HTML Web Storage API? Session storage and local storage are known as the Web Storage API. Data can be stored on the client side by using these APIs. Session Storage Session storage is used for storing data on the client side. The maximum limit of data saving in session storage is about 5 MB. Data in the session storage exists till the current tab is open. If we close the current tab then our data will also erase automatically from the session storage. Like session storage, local storage is also used for storing the data on the client side. The maximum limit of data saving is about 5 megabytes in local storage also. Local storage has no expiration time, data in the local storage persists till the user manually deletes it. This is the only difference between local storage and session storage. Question 11. What are forms in HTML? HTML form is a document that stores information of a user on a web server using interactive controls. An HTML form contains different kinds of information such as username, password, contact number, email id, etc. The elements used in an HTML form are checkbox, input box, radio buttons, submit buttons, etc. Using these elements the information of a user is submitted on a web server. The form tag is used to create an HTML form. Question 12. What are void elements? The elements that only have start tags and do not contain any content within it, these elements are called void elements. It can only have attributes but does not contain any kind of content. Example of such elements are br, less than our greater than image, input, link, base, meta, param, area, embed, call, track, source etc. Question 13. How to change an inline element into a block level element? We can accomplish this task by using the display property having its value as block, to change the element from inline to block level element. Question 14. How container tag is different from the empty tag in HTML? 
The container tags are generally divided into three parts, i.e., the opening tag, content which will display on the browser, and closing tag. In the content part, they can also contain some other tags. These opening and closing tags are used in pairs. For instance, HTML less than slash HTML head less than slash head title less than slash title body less than slash body etc. The empty tags that do not contain any closing tags are known as empty tags. Empty tags contain only the opening tag but they perform some action in the web page. For e.g., br, link, image, less than hour greater than meta, source etc. Question 15. What tags are used to separate a section of text? BR tag, usually BR tag is used to separate the line of text. It breaks the current line and conveys the flow to the next line. P tag, the P tag contains the text in the form of a new paragraph. Block quote tag, it is used to define a large quoted section. Question 16. In how many ways you can apply CSS to your HTML file? There are three ways in which we can add CSS to our HTML file, they are given below. Inline CSS, inline CSS contains the CSS property in the body section attached with the element known as inline CSS. This kind of style is specified within an HTML tag using the style attribute. Internal or embedded CSS, this can be used when a single HTML document must be styled uniquely. The CSS rule set should be within the HTML file in the head section i.e. the CSS is embedded within the HTML file. External CSS External CSS contains a separate CSS file that contains only style property with the help of tag attributes, for example class, id, heading, etc. CSS property is written in a separate file with a CSS extension and should be linked to the HTML document using the link tag. This means that for each element, style can be set only once and that will be applied across web pages. Question 17. How to include one CSS file in another? It is possible to include one CSS file in another and it can be done multiple times. Also, import multiple CSS files in the main HTML file or in the main CSS file. It can be done by using the at import keyword. Question 18. Define multipart form data. Multipart form data, the onType attribute of the form tag specifies the method of encoding for the form data. It is one of the two ways of encoding the HTML form. It is specifically used when file uploading is required in HTML form. It sends the form data to the server in multiple parts because of the large size of the file. Question 19. What are logical and physical tags in HTML? Physical and logical tags are used in HTML for better visibility and understanding of the text by the user on the web page. However, both tags differ from each other as suggested by their names. Logical tag, this tag is used in HTML to display the text according to the logical styles. Following are the logical tags commonly used in HTML. Abbreviated tag, it defines an abbreviation that is used to define the abbreviation or short form of an element. Acronym tag, it is used to define an acronym. Address tag, it defines an address element. Site tag, it defines citation E, used to define the title of a work. Code tag, it defines computer code text. Block quote tag, it defines a long quotation. Del tag, it stands for delete and is used to mark a portion of text which has been deleted from the document. DFN tag, it represents a definition element and is used to represent a defining instance in HTML. INS tag, it is used to specify a block of inserted text. KBD tag, it defines keyboard text. PRE tag, it defines preformatted text. Q tag, it defines a short quotation. SAMP tag, it defines sample computer code. STRONG tag, it defines strong text. VAR tag, it defines a variable E used to specify the variable in a mathematical equation or in a computer program. Physical tag, this tag is used in HTML to provide actual physical formatting to the text. Following are the physical tags commonly used in HTML. B tag, it defines bold text. Big tag, it defines the big text. I tag, it defines italic text. Small tag, it defines small text. Sub tag, it defines superscripted text. Subtag, it defines subscripted text. TT tag, 
it defines teletype text. U tag, it is an unarticulated annotation E, underline element, which is used to underline the text enclosed within the U tag. It is deprecated, use styles instead. Question 20. How to create scrolling text or images on a web page? This task can be achieved through marquee tag in HTML that helps to create scrolling text or image on a web page. It scrolls either from horizontally left to right or right to left, or vertically from top to bottom or bottom to top. Syntax. The marquee element comes in pairs. It means that the tag has an opening and closing elements. Opening marquee tag. Then content. Closing marquee tag. Equals greater than. Question 21. What are the media element tags introduced by HTML5? HTML5 introduced five most popular media element tags that are supported by the browsers, which are described below. Audio tag. It is an inline element that is used to embed the sound files into a web page. Video tag. It is used to embed video files into a web page. Source tag. It is used to attach multimedia files like audio, video, and pictures. Embed tag, it is used for embedding external applications which are generally multimedia content like audio or video into an HTML document. Track tag, it specifies text tracks for media components audio and video. Question 22. How to handle JavaScript events in HTML? An event is an action or occurrence recognized by the software. It can be triggered by the user or the system. Mostly events are used on buttons, hyperlinks hovers, page loading, etc. All this stuff gets into action processed with the help of event handlers. Syntax, handle event in HTML, element on click equals my script greater than various HTML event attributes, on blur, this event occurs when an object loses focus. O change, this event occurs when the value of an element has been changed. On focus, this event occurs when elements get focused. On mouse over. This event occurs when the user hovers the mouse pointer over an element. Thanks for listening us and if you like our videos then please share it to your friends. Subscribe for more. Th